Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how quick and easy it is to integrate Lottie animations into your web project, as well as being able to interact with them thanks to our open source project, Lottie Interactive. Lottie Interactive works as a custom web element adding interactivity to Lottie animations, such as on click, on hover, morphing, play on show, and more to come soon. All right, that's enough talking, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to be replacing these static icons with Lottie animations using Lottie Interactive. So first of all, head over to the GitHub repository, which is linked in the description. And you can head into the bin directory and click on Lottie Interactive. And then right click on the raw button, save link as, and that will download the file. So this needs to be in a file where you have your JavaScript for your website. So for me, it's inside the vendor and I created a directory called Lottie Interactive and I've saved it there. Okay, so next step, you need to include it into your HTML file. So most of the times it's a good practice to include JavaScript at the bottom of your file so that it doesn't hold up the loading of your page. And as you can see here, uh, I've got my script and it's fetching the script from assets vendor Lottie Interactive, Lottie Interactive JS. So once you've done that, you can get to replacing your icons. So these are the static icons and I'm going to declare a Lottie Interactive element with the path to my animations. So I've had a, uh, I've got a directory at the root of my page with my JSON animations. And I'm going to use the fingerprint animation with a morph interaction. So this plays the animation when you hover it and it will play in reverse when you remove the cursor. So, I'm going to quickly replace the other ones. So here uh, we're going to put command and that's going to be a morph. Uh, here's the color palette and with the color palette I actually want it to play once. Um, so I'm going to put it on hover and I'm just going to add the attribute, attribute play once. And lastly, we have the stacks interaction. Stacks, and I'm just going to put that on hover. And that should be all right. So now we can go back to our page, reload it. OK, so we've got our lots of animations. So this is playing on hover. This is playing on hover, and it's playing once. This is morph, and this one's the morph as well. So they're a bit bigger than the previous icons. So in the style on the icon class, I'm going to set it to a width of 45 pixels. And as easy as that, we have our lotty animations inside our web project using Lottie Interactive. It's really as simple as that. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for using Lottie Interactive. I hope it's useful to you and have a good day. Bye bye.